Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. We're playing as an Astromancer today to check out their brand new weapon that was added in the newest patch. This is the Crow Storm. Fabled weapon hold to channel to summon crows. Crows attack nearby enemies, but will ignore cursed projectiles. I don't know what that means. Crows skill crit nearby targets and on top of that, we're also going in with a brand new spell. I hope it's one that works with an Astromancer. The Shield of Thorns. I've never seen it before. Hopefully it doesn't tank our run. Oh. Oh. That's insane. So you, you summon in all of these birds to attack stuff. But you are held completely stationary. The only way to break this is by dashing to the... Oh, I mean, you could just stop channeling. Interesting. So it seems like it's actually returning mana to us a little bit slower than what the class can do with the default black hole. And our new spell is simply we uh, put it on ourselves and then run into a target. And it seems to do the spread volley attack. Uh, I don't know if that'll be good for us, but hey, let's go find out together. So will it break? Yeah, it just breaks lights and stuff. Lanterns right away. All of these objects break all the way. Oh, Stygian study is really close. I don't even have to go that far. Uh, we are starting to see some of the issues with it. For instance, if I'm channeling here. Oh, God, this is going to be this feels impossible already. How are you? <laughs> How? <laughs> so nearby enemies are guaranteed to be super crit or higher crit chance or something. Oh, that is rough. That is really rough. One thing to remember though, is that we do have our class ability too, which we can use to go immune. Uh, I doubt we can use them in unison, like we, we can't channel while immune, but it does allow me a way of repositioning at least. Like even against this mage, oh, that wasn't bad. Line of sight is an issue as the birds fly towards stuff. Hey, the pizza gods resetting what was done. We're going into the study at full health already. Let's see how it treats us. So I don't have anything I can do to these guys, right? No, that's totally blocked. But he's not going to have a volley here for a minute or so. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's not a lot of time, and that's against one enemy, bro. Oh, almost got hit there. Canceled it. I don't know about this one, dude. The primary attack on this class is so good by default. It seems like a considerable shift to go this way. Now, the to be fair, the crows do continue to fly out after you stop channeling. So you can kind of prime a few shots here, kind of like that, and then still back up and reposition. But you're going to be missing out on damage as a result doing that, I think. Oh my god. Paintings are sketchy too. Finding the right time to channel is proving really difficult. I like that it can go after two targets at once. I felt pretty safe there. Again, because there wasn't a lot of stuff flying towards me, I think, though. And with paintings, at least, you have that barrier of, of crows that are seeking it out in the path that it's traveling towards you. This is another one of the new weapons. I'm obviously not going to take it right now, but look forward to a future video where we're going to try this bad boy out. This is not the ballistic archer. This is something completely different. I haven't seen it yet. We haven't tried it yet. Uh, the Stygian study has several rooms that are locked in stone. One of the ads is always to the left, so you know that you can start channeling. Oh, God. You can start looking. Oh, God. This way, pretty reliably to find something to go after. Uh, and there's always a study in which we can find relics that hopefully make our character a bit better. Uh, liked my positioning. Unfortunately, just slightly too close to that fireball. This is looking pretty okay. We'll just travel through that goop. Get ready for the wall coming in and do the same. Unfortunately, running into a fireball there. Uh, not going to swap this out. Let's go left from here and see what we can find. So what if I use this thorn thing? This is kind of... Ooh, 500 damage. 
<laughs> yeah, throwing things through the wall there wasn't bad. Oh, and it does kind of, uh, hey, that's good. Oh, that was really good. It does kind of, uh, get rid of a lot of these things coming towards us as well. Just kind of by default, which is nice. 600 damage from that. Holy shit. Oh, wow, that was that was a deadly room. All right, got another character ready. This time we're trying out the Lucent Beam. This is one of the new spells in the game. I figured we're playing the class that usually fits perfectly with spells like this, so we should try it out. Although our mana generation does seem to be a bit lower. However, because the birds don't travel through walls, this spell will give us a little more flexibility, at least in that category. Please stay up there. Actually, we're fine with Seekers. Okay, so we're actually super effective against Mallets. That's actually a nice change. Maybe this class would be good inside of the Sun Tower as a result. Uh, I'm going to go to the left first. I want to find those bosses over there as fast as possible. Was I clearing ice out? Okay, that's pretty good too. If we can totally remove that as an environmental effect, I am all on board. Uh, we are gonna have to reposition for this one. Spin kick was not enough. We needed a second one. Uh, we do have some projectiles flying towards us now. This guy's gonna be immune to damage for a moment as well. I'm gonna go immune myself, head over to the other side and hope that was enough to break through the barrier. Doesn't seem like it was even close as he once again gets his shield back up. Can I actually kill this guy, please? There we go, finally. Uh, we're gonna have to dash through this, okay. Once again, immunity in here, keeping someone alive. I don't know who was even emitting that. It seemed like they were on the other side, like completely protected. Uh, two paintings for us here. Let's start things off with a few birds. Oh, I feel as though I got very lucky there. This channel here, very, I don't know. Maybe the fact that we do get the crits when we're close is actually carrying. Maybe I should be playing a little more aggressive. I don't know, it seems so counterintuitive. Like, look at that. Look how long that channel is. Look how long that shit. How are you supposed to, how are you supposed to be aggressive with this? The first room in the Stygian study exits back to the starting castle. Okay. And then the right side immediately exits to the starting castle bro three entrances to the study what you know this may just be a case of i have to pick my targets better maybe this isn't a weapon that's designed to like full clear an area maybe you're not just what is this four entrances to the stygian study four are you serious there, there's five there's five entrances oh hello these are new. Silk slippers. The sky is your playground and the floor is your foe. That does not, not sound good for me. The power of momentum amplified. We've never gotten this one before. I am curious to see what it is. However, 4% damage increase for each relic we get when we know there's guaranteed relics ahead may not be a bad idea either. However, in the name of science, Gain additional air dashes. That's not, not good. We have, we have relics we equi equip for that very thing or runes or whatever they're called. That skeleton making everyone immune on the right sucks, but so does everything in here. We might just zoom right on by this guy. Uh, daggers flying forward. We should be able to channel here. Finally, we got a room we could fight in. Holy crap. Look how challenging that was to just find a place that we could stand on our own two feet for a second. This hammer is making everyone else immune to damage. However, the birds seek him out really well. Uh, I'm gonna try to jump up here. We should be able to attack just barely short. The crows don't seem very proficient at figuring out how to maneuver walls. You know what I mean? They're not the best at corners. Uh, we can at least throw some spell damage up there. 
I wish I had more spell damage in my castle build, but here we are. That's that's the best I got. That's the best we could do. We'll just have to make do with it. Uh, as we go up to the next room, yet another enemy is providing immortality. We have good positioning until that happened. We're still okay over here, though. And if that enemy on the left comes any closer... Hey, this is actually yet again a good spot. We're protected from the Seeking Daggers. Oh, I didn't see the spike. 200 trap damage is really starting to get quite high. This dude just channeled, so we should be able to sneak in some damage. And it crits as he gets close. Hammer is sending an AoE my way. Hey, we're starting to kind of get the flow down. It's like... Ooh, that was too far. It's like air dash, position, air dash, position. We're going to go immune here, move over here. Hey, you kind of see what I mean? Like small repositions into new channels. It's just figuring out when you're safe to do these channels. It's, it seems like it's... Ah, double charge. It's not a triple, right? Okay, and we do have the chicken gods up here helping us out with a little bit of health as well. <laughs> All of those entrances to the castle, man, that is so wild. Uh, chest over on the far side, I'll just zoom over and grab it. We'll use the immunity frames this thing gives to avoid... Oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. If these always give... Wait, we might just be able to sit in the middle and channel. Wait, we may have found the strength of this setup! Look at this! This is incredibly strong! As long as I'm above the fire trap, I'm almost in range of everything else. Whoa! And we could just do small little adjustments in the air to get to where we need to go. Uh, tried to just change our form there to avoid some of these bolts, but it didn't quite work out that way. Hey, this is fine, though. This is good. Some of these crows are actually hitting, too. Look at that. No new enemies just yet. That guy's big. He's going to explode. I immuned it. Oh, God. He's going to explode. I didn't immune it. Channel here. Uh, immune. Didn't do it. Please die. We're good for Seekers. Phase, phase, we're good. Oh, heal me up. Heal me up. I love that the healing room is always there. Uh, this could... If our range was better, this would make more sense. But we would just take damage and die. Let's reroll these. I don't like these. Uh, we don't have any statuses that we're applying. If we did, that would be fantastic. This could be really good. Uh, just because of how often we're regenerating mana. But I... This is it. This is it. This is it. Now we get AoE damage on top of the crows seeking. So we can clear rooms out even if we have like a little line of sight issues or corner issues. That seems like the play. <laughs> Haven't been up there in a while. I wanted to see it again. What do we get? Another empathy. I'll put that. Put that in my pocket. Save that for later. Uh... Don't think I'm actually healthier than when we went in, unfortunately. Positioning here should be fine, and we see that AoE damage already starting to come into play, actually in a bad way, as it made that painting mad at me, and that painting mad at me. Hold on, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. These Seekers will die. Reposition up here. Two visits from the Chicken Gods already. These Seekers will die. Trust. Trust. They're not dying. They're not dying. Is it just the initial burst that, that kills the Seekers? That's kind of what it seemed like. Well, that makes our job harder. More chicken in this room. Healing us up to full. Thank you, Chicken Gods. I'll never doubt you again. Not that I ever doubted you in the first place, mind you. Not crazy about our positioning here as that ballista lands its second shot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, chicken gods. You got anything else for me? I need it. I need it now. Are we close enough for this? We can... Yeah, we can hit. Okay, the AoE damage is already proving to be pretty good. I'm really liking that. Uh, I do not want to swap off our spell unless we get something really good. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's worth it. That's worth it. Poison Glob's good. 
And it gives me a way to deal damage and kite, which I feel like we kind of need. Great AoE damage there. Didn't see the ice coming for me. The... Oh, shit. It's close. I think we cleared the room. Wow, we got healed a lot clearing the room, too. They're underneath me. They don't even know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chicken gods, thank you. <laughs> I, I need so much healing, chicken gods. You have no idea. No idea. What's going on in here? Well, I can just channel up. There's nothing they can do about that. Uh, hopefully, we actually get an angle where some of these crows can figure out how to get up there. Oh, that'll work. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sometimes I guess you just have to be a little patient. I believe there were three chests in this room, so I'll help myself to that. We're looking at 250,000 gold for just clearing out this little bit of the study so far. That is excellent. Something is making these guys immune. I don't know what. So I'm just gonna let it, let it fly. It's a big night underneath me. It actually seems like we're stunlocking these guys a lot. Wow, that was super effective. Wow, it's crazy how good this is in some rooms and how terrible it is in others. <laughs> okay, uh, heading up top now. Let's see where this takes us. Leading us to yet another chest. This one protected by a scroll as well as a resonating bouncing Betty. We're just going to immune right out of there. So in order to find the mini boss on the left, we actually need to continue upward if we want to have a chance at it. We are full health again, which is just beautiful this is a mimic here it's kind of nice and seeks mimics out for you without you having to do anything got very lucky with that movement same thing again very lucky the mimic has been taken down there's a chest on the right side that i want to try to gather a little bit of trap damage there nothing too bad hopefully there we go we have enough room to get out of the way of that if he shoots again we might have to go immune we're totally fine Let's just go ahead and follow that to the left, I guess. As he takes aim, we'll just get close. Come on. One more. Come on. Uh, I'm just going to travel upwards here because it was easier. But that looks like it wasn't a dead end. I thought it was going to be. Uh, we can grab this no problem with our immunity ability, our common ability. We can use it again in just a couple seconds if we needed it to traverse this room, but this is looking fine. Mana Potion almost brings us back up to full HP as well, and we finally get into the study. What a weird layout today. Uh, this is guaranteed to be a relic. Defeat six enemies to, protect, to prevent the next source of damage. That could be good considering how weak we are, but that doesn't help us with the boss. Whereas that actually does help us with the boss, but I'm not super interested in either of those. Defeat enemies while at max HP to gain max mana. Theoretically, that could be fine. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're going to apply poison with every single crow that seeks out an enemy. That's crazy good. Let's increase our maximum HP by taking 700 damage as a little bit of a punishment. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Wow, and we like that's gonna be a hundred percent uptime on this poison on most enemies. Pizza on the ground also is gonna refill our HP without us having to do anything as these mimics underneath us are taken down. How much would it have sucked to have reset that room there? We're back up to full health, healthier than we've ever been on this run so far. We're gonna have to hit those resonators, but that's fine. Poison would have finished this guy off. Uh, we do have a poison spell, which does get less value now. Clearly, I'm not casting that as much as I should anyway. I'm just going to sit here until the Mimic comes back, and we'll just finish up that channel. I'll uh, wait for the fireballs now. Uh, I'm just going to immunity through. Here we go. Finally finding our way in. They're immune. Who's immuning them? You're not immune anymore. We'll clear off that Seeker. This fight might be interesting because I might be able to just sit at the top of the room and <laughs> ignore the boss. I'm not 100% on that yet, but that might be the that might be the play. 
We're gonna have to spin kick that. Um, who's... Can you stop making everybody... Im Thank you. We got it. Okay, that was hard. Like, I thought that room was gonna be super easy. Uh, let's see how the boss treats us. What if I just sit right here? Uh, spikes on the roof kind of suck. That's looking real good. The other enemy can't throw that far, but that molten attack could hit me. Yeah, dude, this is pretty strong, actually. We're a line of sight from the other thing and not close enough to the spikes here. The only attack that can hit me is the jumping meteor. And I guess that. But in order to dodge that, all we do is rechannel. Whoop, uh oh, a little too close. We gotta get some extra poison on the ground just to help out. That's one boss down. Uh, remember, these are mini bosses, so we don't like full heal or anything here. We do have to try to stay a little bit healthy. But so far, so good. That's a charge through on the ground. That doesn't bother me at all. We should be at max poison stacks at this point. We definitely are. Another charge on the ground. We don't need to reposition even a little bit. <laughs> That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Oh, jeez, dude. I don't know how I'm going to beat this boss with this class, though. That seems like it's going to be so hard. Uh, we'll worry about that when we get there. So that's one mini boss down. There's going to be one more to go. <laughs> the other mini boss is actually going to be kind of hilarious. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that path when we get there, too. Uh, the other mini boss is usually located on the right. Why didn't I kill you? Usually located on the right side of the study, along with a room that gives you an heirloom. Just in case you haven't cleared this area on your own yet and you're looking for some too. Oh, I don't think that room's worth it. Well. Well, it's, I don't know, it's doable. Uh, I just got shredded though, that sucks. No, I'm out. No, not worth it. Uh, we should be able to kill this ballista without it even seeing me. Oh, nope. Nope. The birds don't want to work with you that much. I need to kill this guy fast. Oh, the poison might do it, but it's not a fast kill. Uh, might be able to hit this guy with a couple crows, depending on how they fly. No. I'm going to poison him underneath his platform. I think that'll be the best way. That'll definitely kill him. Okay, we have to be very careful. We're like one shot away from dying, and we still have a mini boss to go. Uh, that's good damage. We are going to be healed up as we kill these guys, though. One thing that hinders your ability to actually send out crows is just standing on the ground, because some of the projectiles actually get caught up in that. Uh, someone's making these guys immune. We did get damage on them. And we had pretty good repositioning there, if I do say so myself. He's continuing to push up. I uh, might be able to get a poison glob right on top of him. And then with our last channel, that should end it. Perfect. Just had to kite away forever. New crows getting blocked by the ramp here. Some are getting blocked by the roof now because I'm too close. Okay. Oh, God. He should die before he shoots again. Okay. So we need to find mana potions. I think I lost around 200 armor there. Maybe not that much. Maybe that's an over-exaggeration. We're not going to find any in this lower room. That's a free chest on the other side. I didn't see the fire trap, but luckily it didn't hinder me too much. So we're going to need to descend and head east. I kind of hope. Destroy all targets, lose no health. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I, I have not only auto-seeking stuff, I also have the AOE thing. Oh, I need that mana potion over there. I'll wait until the challenge is over. Okay, heading over to the left side now. Uh, we're good. We're good. Uh, that's all of them destroyed. Now we just pop it open. Perfect. I'm going to wait until my immunity is ready again. Zip over here, grab the potion. That's okay that we lost health. Challenge is already over. And we have more armor now, so we we technically 
didn't take as much health as we would have otherwise. I'm just trying to make it sound better. Crows are out, dealing good damage. I don't know what hit me. It looks like it was probably the archer over here. Did this dude die? No, he did not. He is resilient. Those birds take him down though. Chicken gods are watching over us with 500 HP returned. Ugh, lost half of that on a tramp, however. That archer did not hit me. What hit me? I have no idea. Come on. Come on. This is going to be close. It's going to be really difficult to do this boss. Should have an easy channel here. Perfect. Mage should be an easy channel now that he's cast. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Ballista underneath me. Mage to the right. We should be chilling. Good. I kind of want him to come back into my range. Oh! Crap. Crap. I'm pinned. We can get out of here. There's his shot. He's not going to shoot for a second. Dip out. Oh, bouncing Betty almost took me out. Okay. Cleared. I think we're safe. Good channel. I can get poison on this guy through the wall as well. Dash through. Poison on this guy through the wall. Poison on this guy through the wall. Uh, that should kill him at 10 stacks, I think. Oh, close. Okay. Traveling through. This side's already cleared. We're going to wait for... The oh, we can't wait for that. And these guys are fucking immune to damage because of this painting? I think. I hope. Why are they immune? Different painting? Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Clee. Okay. Uh... Channel, get ready to dash. These guys aren't synced up. Oh my God, this is really making my life difficult here. Oh my God. Okay, that shredder guy at the bottom needs to die. I think I got all my armor back though. He's slightly out of range. There we go, those hit, those hit. Woo! That was difficult. I'm not going to lie, when I saw all that stuff at the top of the room, I thought my run was over. How's our route here looking? I might need to check this room underneath us. There is also a chance that... Oh yeah, that painting's still alive. Hold on. There is also a chance that... Uh, ow. The boss could be down here. Or up above us. This is kind of looking like it's near the top of the Stygian study, so I imagine the boss to, to be around there somewhere. Uh, Crows did take care of one of the ballistas. This guy's shooting additional fireballs because of his affects. I'm going to reset him. It sucks, but I think it was the right call. I'm going to do it again. Okay, now send these down. Now dodge. And that should be looking a little better at least. Not at all. I'm taking so much damage from this dude. Holy crap. Uh, dash through this. We should be safe from fireballs. One more crow was all I could send. This dude's out of range of poison. That's going to be difficult to deal with, but... Oh my god, not as difficult as the rest of this fucking room. I have to leave, I have to leave. <gasps> ah! Well, I locked the castle down, and unfortunately, we are significantly weaker now than we were before. Losing those extra bonuses, that poison on every single one of our attacks, the AoEs, that's really going to hurt. However, we have locked down that this is not... And that's not where the mini boss is. That room isn't big enough down there. So we're gonna have to head upwards from here. We are playing as a disattuned character now, which means my hitbox is significantly stronger than what a normal character has to deal with. Meaning, the stuff that's been super difficult to dodge so far this run is hopefully gonna get a little easier all of a sudden, the chicken gods still watch over us. Here's the second mini boss. This should actually be pretty amusing once I get over to the other side. Could be funny anyway. Uh, this is all about just dodging a few. It's like an obstacle course on the way over. There's also some chests on the way over that you can find. We just passed one there. I always point out these chests, though. I'm just repeating myself at this point. You guys know how this boss works. At least the vast majority of you. 
Uh, once we get through, hey, whoop. Once we get through uh, the teleporter, the boss officially begins. Uh, okay. This is actually a little problematic. Hold on, I could zoom again. So I was thinking that I would just kind of hang out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that'll do. That'll do, it's not fast or anything. Some of them are getting stuck. Oh, like half of them are getting stuck. We'd do better DPS if I stood like an inch higher. Oh, th this is kind of the same problem, but in reverse. They get they get broken on the roof. Uh, this will actually be really good DPS, but we can't hold it for long. Bro, this is weird. This is such a weird way to play. I'm only able to get like one bird off at a time if the pattern doesn't repeat, which is kind of scary. Uh, I gotta go around this one. Around this one. Oh, guess I should just channel. It's gonna change now that I'm channeling. No, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, that even felt weird. Oh, this boss is gonna be really hard. Well, I basically just used my class ability to zip through everything, made our way up here, because I want to give this a few attempts. I think it's going to be really, really challenging. Uh, this boss is all about moving in every phase. It's all about moving. So we'll see if we can do it. We we'll couldn't even start off with a channel. Immediately interrupted. Let's zoom over to this side. Immediately interrupted. Uh, we're gonna be interrupted again when these seekers come out. Immediately inter- Oh my god, resonators are even scarier. Hold on. Uh, this volley isn't nice either. We're gonna go immune for that. Dash through here. Kill the last resonator. Could channel for a second. Now we have to dash. Out of that. Uh, we're good. Channel. Can channel a little bit longer. Now move. Didn't do that fully right. Uh, just start a new channel and it'll get rid of these things. And we pushed the phase before he exploded. Okay. Now we have these things we also have to dodge as well. As the boss gets closer, that'll be more of a problem. There, it's a problem. 500 damage as well as that connects. Let's go immune zip to this side. Go immune zip to this side. Recast. Oh, wasn't able to. There we go. Close. Now he's gonna dash. Oh, new resonators. Resonators. I could say it right, goddammit. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Dash through. Ah, 500 damage again. Uh, immune. Jeez. Oh! 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 Come on. We're fine. Break that. Might be in channel range here. Oh, geez. Gotta go immune again. Get ready for the dash. Ha! Ah! Channel. He's moving. Oh, my God. Start off with a channel this time. He's trying to deny space in the room. We did that okay. The immunity is going to be off cooldown again in three seconds. I need to get to the top of the room pretty quickly to destroy these seekers once again. I thought that was area denial. Fireballs were fine. Dash in. Perfect. If he does area... De oh, we'll just get out of that. Might have to immunity. No, we're good. And we pushed the face. That was actually so much faster. Whoa. And I suppose here I should just start channeling right away because we... Ah, well, maybe I shouldn't. Because we know we have time to just kind of accumulate some shots. Gonna immune that. Stack it all up in one spot. And almost push the face. <laughs> How hilarious would it be if I just go to the roof here and that's all I have to do? Uh, I'm going to try it. Immune up. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's broken. This can absolutely just cheese this fight. You're not going to be in damage range all the time. 
but that's okay. You don't have to be because every time you are, it just auto aims down to the boss that is not capable of reaching you. Well, I'm glad we found this corner. This was so much more difficult than I thought it was going to be, just playing this subclass in general. However, keep in mind that we're still supposed to be a spellcaster, I think. And I don't really have a spellcaster stat build or anything ready to go. However, that was a phenomenal showing on our second attempt. That corner was super duper strong. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Is this weapon worth picking up? Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. If there was like an attack speed stat that could make it happen a little faster, I think it'd be a little bit better. But it was definitely a very different way of playing. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. We'll be back again soon with a look at another new weapon. Take care. See you next time.